Number 5. Vietnam has discreetly fortified several of its islands in the disputed South China Sea with new state-of-art textual rocket launchers. The system is capable of striking China's runways and military installations across the vital trade route. The move is designed to counter China's build-up on its seven reclaimed islands in the Spratlys. Vietnam's military strategists fear that China's build-up of runways Radars and other military installations on those holdings have left Vietnam's southern and island defenses increasingly vulnerable. This is the most significant defensive move Vietnam has made on its holdings in the South China Sea in decades. Number 4 The extra system is manufactured by IMI Systems of Israel. Vietnam procured these mobile rocket launchers specifically with the Spratly Silence in mind. These have been ported from mainland and deployed on five bases in the Spratly Islands in recent months. Vietnam's military planning vis-à-vis -vis China is defensive in nature, and built around A2, AD, or anti-access and aerial denial strategies. Extra system fits right into the strategy. The presence of this missile would undermine the ability of PLAN warships, transport vessels, and amphibious craft to safely carry out sea operations in those areas, as well as denying them access into the West Pacific. Number 3 Fitted with a GPS-based inertial navigation system extra rounds are highly accurate with SEP of 10 meters. The rounds can have 120 kg warheads, of different types. Warheads can be high explosives or bomblets to attack multiple targets simultaneously. Operated with targeting drones, they could strike both ships and land targets. The system has a range of 150 km that puts China's 3,000-meter runways and installations on Sabai, Fiery Cross and mischief reef within range. Number 2 The following features make the extra system perfect for Vietnam. 1. It is a highly mobile weapon system and can be installed on either a truck or in a fixed installation. 2. It uses compact radars, so does not require a large operational footprint making them suitable for deployment on islands and reefs. 3. The system is autonomous, can work day and night, and in all weather conditions. Number 1 Despite the deployment of the extra system, it will not fundamentally alter the military balance between Vietnam and China in the South China Sea. Chinese installations in the South China Sea have been within range of Vietnamese weapon systems for some time. Among other things, Vietnam procured Russian-made long-range K-300P Bastion coastal missile systems in 2011, and S-300 PMU-2 long-range surface-to-air missile systems in 2012. Vietnam has also been acquiring a number of new anti-ship and land attack cruise missiles, including the 3M14 E Club supersonic cruise missile, which is capable of hitting mainland China. Extra system will add further muscle to the Vietnam's defenses in Spartley Islands. Consequently the extra deployment should first and foremost be seen as a move by Hanoi to signal resolve to China. India has deployed steep dive variant of BrahMos missile to counter China. Watch this video to know more.